Hello, 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 spirit fingers everywhere. Hey guys, so today I will be making some Lego chocolate bars. And just in case you don't know what Legos look like, this right here, that is a Lego. See, very cube-like, but anyway, it will not be a flash Lego, it will be a normal looking Lego. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna add some boiling water to our pot. Make sure your stove is not too high on that heat, otherwise everything will boil out of control. Then you're gonna use a glass bowl to now melt your coconut oil up until it looks like a water-like consistency. As long as it looks like water, then you're winning. And then you're gonna add your icing sugar. That should also dissolve just before you pour in your Nestle milk powder or whatever type of milk powder that you use, solely up to you. Then you're going to add your caramel essence. Mix, mix, and mix up until there's this grainy-like texture. And then you proceed by moving that to your blender. Blend for a couple of seconds and then transfer that into your molders. Now, obviously, I have Lego molders because, hello, I'm animated. Duh. Then I add some Smarties because I want that extra-like taste. It's just how I am. I like extra things inside my chocolate. And because I have extra liquid, I'm going to put this in all my other molders just so that nothing goes to waste. And then we're going to proceed by doing the exact same steps like we did with that white chocolate bar. But this time, the only difference is we're making a darker chocolate, meaning brown, naturally. Not like funny colors, no. This time, I'm sticking to like the norm brown but kaloku we're going to then jajus a couple of things because that's just how i am we jajus everything so now after you've added your icing sugar you're going to add your cocoa or cocoa powder however you want to pronounce it and then let that mix up and then you're going to add just a little bit of milk powder for that additional taste and instead of using caramel essence you're going to use vanilla essence with a pinch of salt mix 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 and mix and this part is solely optional you can add your nuts and raisins if you want but I'm going to do that. You don't have to. I'm just that type of person. I mix everything. Hoy that into the blender. Let everything just chop on up. Add it into your molders. And then proceed by moving that into your freezer. Now everything should at least be in the freezer for about an hour. Hopefully your freezer is that cold so that you don't have to leave it in there for a very long time. Otherwise it just gets a little bit awkward. But anyway... That's that, and I'm just going to add more into my molders because, again, I have extras. And obviously, when you have extras, what do you do? You don't put it to waste. You utilize everything. I'm just going to make everything look like a top deck because that's just how we are. We just like to mix things up. Now, anyway, after that hour has set and it has completed, this is what your chocolate bar should look like. A Lego, like that guy right there in the corner. Except without the mask, without the red, but you know, with his own color. Like, you know, a nice little white or cream white, if you will, with some nice colors in between there. Those chocolates are going to pierce right on through because they're smarties, and smarties are just nice. Smart ease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, then we're going to pop out our chocolate ones too, and they should look like that. Oh, they look so divine. Trust me, that coconut taste is also just going to pierce right through. It's so amazing, so lovely, tastes so well, just melts in your mouth, so smooth and silky. Anyway, I'm going to add my little flasher over there just because it's a flash Lego. So I just felt like being like stupid and fun there, but anyway. That light literally does nothing except just look cool. So yeah, I just did that for effects in J just because I can. This is what all your chocolates should look like. Nicely shaved. Oh, look at me over there by Best Bud. Everything should just come out looking great. It should naturally just come out. It shouldn't be sticky or anything like that. But if it is sticky, it means something went wrong when you were mixing or within your ingredients or your consistency. Something went wrong. But hey. Do not panic. Practice makes perfect, guys. The kitchen's a beautiful place. Don't be scared of it. Have fun so that you can do this for yourself. And once you have eaten all their limbs, like I just did, you can put it in the fridge for about, I don't know, however long you want to put it in the fridge up until you're going to eat your chocolates. I'm not going to give you an expiration date because Kaloku, I bash things within like two days. But once you're done, put it in the fridge and whenever you're ready to eat, eat. Apart from that, Enjoy and have fun.